This playthrough is rated T for T. May 27th, 514 p.m. Calm down, Yuki-chan. We've got Kaiju on all sides here. I don't take orders from you. I gotta find Nachan. Wait, something's coming up. It's a Sentinel. Number 22? Number 22, advancing. Two aerial models, which means Hamiguchi and Takamiya, I presume. Uh, it's just Goto. We're going to have the terminal defend itself. I'll need your help. Screw you, buddy. Do it yourself. If I don't find Nachan fast. There, I finally got through. Yuki-chan, it's me. Nachan, I'm glad you're safe. Wait, you got in? I thought I told you that thing was dangerous. Just hold on. I'm on my way. What? No, no, you stay back where it's safe. We got buttloads of kaiju over here. Damn it. Goto, we gotta do something, now. Glad to hear you're feeling so cooperative. I see things in the air. Are those enemies too? I've confirmed their position. Those are aerial dymos called hunters. Great. We got flyers now? They specialize in aerial mobility, much like our fourth generation sentinels. Melee attacks won't reach them. We can't rely on ground-based missiles either. Kinda short on anti-air options here. Amiguchi-kun, just collect the metachips. They can expand our mech's functions and unlock new weapons. How about you guys handle this tech stuff? And I just kick the shit out of them. Good boy. We all better watch out for her. All right. Well, we better watch out for her because she's badass. No. Mid to condition, destroy all kaiju. Lost condition, terminal destroyed. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow my back here with another episode 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. In the last episode, we dealt with the uh, Playboy himself, hitting on all the ladies. And apparently, ladies from TVs, apparently. No. Um, actually, I think he just hit on the one girl. But it seems like he's one of those types of guys. But anyway, it looks like we're swapping into some of the other characters. And Goto is finally getting into the fray, at least in the tutorial section here. So let's see how we can destroy these aerial combat things. So, so we need to get meta chips, huh? So we can't... I thought we could destroy aerial units. I guess we don't have any aerial stuff. Whoa, man, look at that. Because didn't they say something about, like, these aren't supposed to work or something like that? Gotcha. Oh, he moved and used that ability. Huh, I thought... Enemy, now, I'm, now I'm getting wrecked okay. because I moved clo too close to them. Okay, so... She's also, so for these guys, they have to move in and they summon them from there machines or whatever so that I guess that makes sense Come on. That do it. That ought to do it. <laughs> all right <laughs> so I guess I should have been actually looking at what they can do so he's got pulsar layers fire torpedoes and multi lock missiles That seemed to work. They're splitting up. Some of those guys look pretty tough. Okay, there's a lot of them, but as long as we stay cool and stick to the plan. These clowns are gonna need more than numbers to take me down. You want a piece of me, shitheads? Come and get it! Man, she's basically the female version of the the other punk guy, so. I, you would think a game like this would kind of stay away from giving multiple characters the same archetype or or character traits or whatever. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. But then again, not everyone has to be an intelligent like strategist or whatever. I'll, and she does seem a bit more aggressive than uh, the other guy, but maybe that's because she wants to save Nat Natsuno or whatever. So uh, okay, so you got pulsars, multi lock missiles. And you have shield matrix as well. But don't we not have anyone that can do melee? Because aren't these guys really weak against melee fighters? And I guess someone has to go down that way, but... 
Because I'm a... Just a little bit of... Because it would be kind of dumb for me to just jump in the middle of that thing. Although I doubt I'm going to die during the tutorial, but... Here goes. I didn't even do that much damage, because I guess it destroys all the people in the front first. No fight, I can't win. Let's see, what is she got a pulsar as well? She's also got leg spike. So I guess that, that you use that move to help defeat this guy or whatever. Oh, that's not a back attack apparently. I guess you can't back attack that one. Interesting. Is there not oh no, there it is. Wait, hold on. There it is. <laughs> Did you just say get wrecked? <laughs> get wrecked! She must be a fan of a uh, fan of uh, um, Rick. <laughs> Rick, 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 Rick. Good timing. That easy. Looks like destroyed. we're missing a couple of the. Uh, are they? Uh, they're moving too far close now. So I'll just send over, someone over there to work on you. Another leg spike on you. Oh, I didn't even need to back attack them. Oh. Then... Oh, these are oh these are just ground units, so they're not going to be as weak to the anti-air stuff. So I shouldn't move, frankly. Next move. Oh, I moved too far, too far ahead, or I, I'm not too far enough back. What's optimal? Number twenty-two, advancing. Oh, right. oh, there are more are coming. Okay, cool. Oh, is that one? What I was getting hit by was by the missiles. Gotcha. Bingo. Oh no, you don't. Next move. Oops. Let's see. He got wrecked, as he said. Hit. Good. Hit. That Hope I can pull my hit good, hit good, hit good. Hit good, hit good, hit good. Nailed it. Yeah, it's more effective okay. than using missiles. Alright, get another leg attack on you. I think she's yeah, almost having EP, uh, EP, but I think we're almost done with this fight anyway, so. Always think ahead. So I think we should be fine. Stay on guard. Get further. Number 22. Now that I'm flared for people to do this. How's this? Good. Still not You're gonna need to move by super no far. Fight, I can't win. Number 21. That is I think she's almost out of EP. Say your prayers. Always so we'll the these guys are almost dead anyway, so we can just slow. Stay and we'll attack these guys. Hit. Well, she doesn't run away. Stay calm. I can do this. What now? Number 20, moving. Are we winning? I'm surprised Bullseye. it gives you enough time to move up. Move away. Bullseye. Okay, All let's right. do this. Yep, that'll finish him off. There you go. They got wrecked. Uh oh. Oh wait, he's he's doing the thing where he closes it. Uh, the hell just happened? Aegis activation confirmed. This area's terminal has been shut down. Wow. Did you see that, Yuki John? That UFO must have some unbelievable power. Calm down, Amiguchi. We still gotta meet up with Nachan. Calm down, she says. Like she wasn't the one raging out a second ago. 
Yeah, they'll never. Uh, she's one of those heads with a like stubborn head that she'll never admit, like when she gets overheated or whatever. All right, whose story are we? Ah, this, the guy who uh, was chasing after Okino or whatever. So it'll be interesting to see what his story is all about. EA or I or Sekigahara. Wait, is isn't Sekigahara that like famous like area where the battle between um, oh. What was the two characters? It was during the Warring States era of Japan. God, it's been forever. The reason I remember that is for the Kassan, Kassan games or whatever. They were fun strategy games. Uh, I think they made three of them and they were PS2 era games. Um, I think I... Uh, no, they did two games. Never mind. I thought they did... Well, no, they did a third one, I think, but I don't... But I don't know that. Anyway, let's uh, get, continue on with the story. Understood. Sunset building rooftop, 1985. Damn, no way out. Where'd he go? Wait! You must know who I am, don't you? That's why you've been following me. Of course I do. You can't escape us, eh, Sekigahara? Sekigahara? What do you want from me? Tell me. I guess you have a death wish. Wait! It's because you came from another dimension. Another dimension? Enough with the games. Tell me the truth. Resistance is futile. Surrender now or else. If you won't answer my questions, then talking to you is what's futile. Another dimension. Could that really be true? Even if it is, there's no way I'd be able to tell. My memories, they're gone. So now we've got, so we've got time travel and we've also got other dimensions, so we've got other dimensions as well. Which I guess technically could form from certain time periods failing, so they create a different alternate reality, so, or another dimension. Or are they just thinking it's the same thing in this case? I should have two or three shots left if I can serve power. This gun does feel a bit out of the ordinary. Could it really be from another dimension? This kind of reminds me of uh, the beginning scenes from um, Star Ocean 2. Or Second Departure or whatever it was called. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill anybody. But it's strange. Why do I know how to use this? Also, kind of remind, the phaser kind of reminds me of Star Trek, obviously. Hey, Sekigahara. It's no use. I can't remember anything. But that's what he called me. It has to mean something. Well, it could mean anything, really. Hey, Sekigahara. That name doesn't set, but it apparently belongs to me. Oh, he said something different. Sorry, I wasn't sure if he was repeating himself. Uh, the mysterious man. Oh, I thought, you know, for a second, I, I was thinking that maybe he was a robot because of the... When he shocked him, it could have been the phaser. Good. He's still alive. I made sure to set it to stun, not kill. Just who are these guys? We well, did say resistance is futile, so he's probably bored. Hmm. Maybe he has something on him that'll give me a clue. Just a pair of handcuffs in his pocket. And... Some old communication device? It's huge. Oh, man. All he has left on him is his wallet. You won't mind if I borrow these, will you? Oh, man. that uh, like That's either an 80 cell phone or it's a walkie-talkie, one of the two. But, uh... Yeah, I, I I was young when these when these things came out, so I don't remember all the details. But man, yeah, cell phones used to be huge, and you had to plug them up to a backup battery because they run out of power like almost instantly. It was pretty crazy back then for you young folk who don't even know about cell phones bigger than you know slightly bigger than your hand. Although weirdly, cell phones have been starting to get bigger now because they used to start getting smaller, and then all of a sudden they started to get bigger again. Probably because, I don't know, maybe they need more room for components or something like that. I don't know, maybe it's a trend. Anyway. I'd better not use this here. 
Its range looks to be only one or two kilometers. That means his little friends can't be too far. If I mess with it now, they'll know I'm nearby. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. Looks like it's more of a walkie-talkie. Isn't that weird the, the military came up with the term for walkie-talkie? And it's such a, ki a kiddish name when you think about it. You know, it's like, I walkie and talkie, Commander. That's what it does, walkie-talkie. <laughs> anyway, black wallet? Nothing in here but cash. Might as well put it to good use. I haven't eaten a thing in two days, after all. Hang on. This is strange. The designs on these bills look completely different. There's even a 500 yen bill. Aren't those out of print? And these coins are from back in the Showa era. Hmm. Public transit is too risky. It's likely under surveillance. It might be safest to travel along the river. But before that, I should really get something to eat. Two days ago, I woke up in that alley. My memory's gone. Since then, I've been on the run non-stop. Two days ago, rainy back alley. Where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember anything. What is this? Some kind of gun? Why would I have something like this? He has a gun! Get him! Everything is a complete blank. Why am I here? I don't even remember my own name. Is this thing real? Why would I be carrying a weapon? Well, I mean, it depends on where you live. If you're in New York, it's pretty obvious. Obviously, we're not in New York, but who knows? It could be pretty dangerous in 1980s Japan. Wasn't the 1980s like a big rena like a big boom in Japan for like... Um, oh, there's the there's the nurse right there. Well, we must have knocked her ass out or something like that. But I think the 1980s was supposed to be a big boom in Japan. Like they they made like a ton of money because after I forgot why it may have had something to do with a tech jump or something like that. But I remember it being a, a pretty high pretty high time. Obviously now they're in like in a recession at this point. By at least at the time of this recording. Well, then again, a lot of places are because of what's been going on. But not, collapsed woman with her ass sticking out there. <laughs> Hey, miss. Are you okay? <sighs> she isn't breathing. I wonder... What happened here? It's no use. I still can't remember anything. <sighs> Is it possible that... I did this? I wonder if she's from... I wonder if this is a different reality of... A weapon, Miss Mori Mori... Mori 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 Mura, and I know they don't purposely stick her ass out. They just I just make fun of the fact it just seems like it, even though that's how someone would probably fall if they. Well, okay, never mind. Maybe they are trying to make it prominent. Anyway, enough poking holes at that. Looks like she's bleeding from the abdomen. Based on this evidence, the gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Yeah, yeah. It looks like in this alternate dimension or whatever, or or this. Timeline. I don't know. She got shot by us for some reason. Is it possible this woman and I know each other? All I know is I woke up next to her with a gun in my hand. Was I the one who killed her? Yeah, it seems like this game is definitely going with the disjointed uh, storytelling. So hopefully, although it's not comp uh, it's not complicated enough, I don't think. So I can kind of keep the uh, story pretty much. I wouldn't say perfect, but you know, you can pretty much follow it along for the most part, without getting too confused. This is where I woke up. Did I miss anything? Pills? It's highly likely these belong to me. All right. I should see if that woman has anything useful on her. It might serve as a clue to what happened here. Well, I wonder what pills were they? Were they, uh, were they the blue pill or the red pill? One of, those, one of them took us down the rabbit hole. And I don't know if we want to be part of this rabbit hole. All right, time to, time to violate this person. I mean, uh, search for important stuff. There's something in her skirt pocket. A piece of paper with numbers written on it. Are there any other clues around here? Well, maybe. We'd have to call the Hardly Boys for this one. 
there's nothing else here. Oh, I haven't checked my own pockets yet. Let's see. An ID card. A student ID, to be specific. And... A key. But to what? That's a big-ass key, dude. Uh, and this guy likes to talk to himself out loud, by the way. He's not using thought bubbles or whatever, so... Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. Plastic? Wait, ruining the earth. The note says... 443-685-3214. What could it mean? A password of some sort? The cryptic note says one, two, three, four, or five. That's the same combination on my luggage. This appears to be someone else's student ID. Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. Fuyusaka. Her face does look familiar, but I can't remember how I know her. It's uncanny, though. Almost like she's important to me, in one way or another. Maybe she's like a your maybe she's your sister or something like that, maybe. They do kinda have a familiar look about them, maybe. I could be wrong. Like like we don't have enough context to really know other than he's familiar, so from maybe from another dimension. You know, anyway. It's a student ID from Sakura High School. It appears to belong to a female student. Iori Fuyusaka, class one B. There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? Yeah, usually car keys and house keys are too different. It does kind of look like a car key, but I could be wrong. I'm not an expert on keys. She has nothing else on her. Uh, sorry, nurse. You died in this dimension or where else, so. Oh, well. No. Oh, convenient. That that's not too wet or Someone whatever. Someone dropped an envelope here. Could it have something to do with that woman? Whatever's inside seems to have stayed dry. Actually, the old, old letter, like things like that, letter envelopes and like that were made of a different material than they are nowadays, so they were a lot more durable when it came to like getting wet. Kind of reminds me of a Back to the Future or the end of Back to the Future 2 or, the, or beginning of 3. There's nothing written on the envelope. Some documents are inside. I have a letter for you, dead lady. Or I have something for you, dead lady. A letter! There's a note and what looks like a personnel file inside. Chihiro Morimura. Occupation, teacher. There are instructions written on the note. If capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Hmm. I wonder if, the, if those were my orders or her orders. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Must be my orders, because I don't know why she, those would be her orders. I, after I said that, I was like, that seems kind of silly. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. A key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. I wonder if he's like some assassin from another dimension who's... Who possibly maybe work for a different organization or the Deimos. And, we're try, and he's trying to take out key figures of like the human resistance against these creatures or he's working for the Deimos cube or whatever that's a theory i mean it's too early to tell but who knows chihiro morimura 31 no, is it gonna be the same thing a key member of she uh, i said it could be it would be interesting if one of these characters you play as was did work for the bad guys whether they wanted to or not so okay anyway chihiro morimura there's no doubt about it that's who this woman is. Well, was. Well, I guess you completed your job, dude. Maybe. This is the place. Let's see what we can find. Someone's coming. I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. I need to get out of here before they see me. Just hide behind the dead body. Behind the body. Behind behind the body pile of dead bards. Check down this back alley, too. They've got me surrounded. I need to hide. We'll just jump up that little ladder thing there. What a mess. 
Where'd that boy run off to? He has a gun. We'd best proceed with caution. We're authorized to use deadly force if necessary. Yes. We need to clean this up quickly. If he gets away again, we're in deep shit. Let's contact HQ and tell them we're on it. I'll leave that to you. We'll monitor public transits. He can't have gone far. Sounds like I'm the one they're after. And that means... I must be their culprit. Why can't I remember? No time for that now. I can't let myself be captured. At least until I figure this all out for myself. After the escape, Kaede River, riverbed. What do I do now? If I don't get my memories back, what'll happen to me? Hey. I do like the fact that the other characters, like, either run into other characters or they might even be in the background and, like, have nothing to do with them, but they're still there anyway. I'm just gonna leave. No! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just being silly. A fancy leather wallet. There are a few bills and coins inside. No credit cards, though. When did, when did credit cards become... I don't think credit cards were around in the 1980s, were they? Well, I'm trying to think with the first in, uh, introduction of credit cards. Actually, I think the idea of the credit card's been around for a long time. We just started a modern conception of it. It's, it's wasn't until, like, the 90s or something like that. But I could be wrong. I haven't really studied the history of the credit card. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. A key member of yeah, Shiki Shiki, the one I found dead. Okay, that's extra. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says... If Cap did I kill her, did someone order me to do it? I don't like the thing of Yuki in the background going, Hey, I just talked to you. What are you doing? Why are you looking at yourself and looking at random things? I said, hey. Did you need something? You stick out like a sore thumb in this part of town. Get yourself somewhere with lots of people. Um, thanks, random lady. I still don't know how they do it. But they're able to track your general location. Wait, who are you? I'm here to return the package I borrowed from you. A package? Yeah, I left it over there. Hmm. And I also wonder if the characters we're playing at is if we're playing them from their alternate dimension. Like, the, the main storyline is the main characters, but there's alternate dimension versions of their characters that know more that I might be overthinking this. I don't understand. Who are you? Do you know me? I'm not here for small talk. Coming here at all was risky enough as it is. Just go get your package. Then again, there's there could be it could be the case of just characters from different time periods popping into this one location. Just the idea of them mentioning alternate dimensions have greatly thrown off my deductive skills. I don't understand. Who are you? I you think I'm not here for coming yeah. here at all. Just or we're not throwing off into it. Have added an extra thing that maybe I've See over. Ya. What the? She's gone. Oh, or she went away really, really, really slowly. So. Anyway. That girl said this belongs to me. Hello. I can't imagine how seeing this must make you feel. Forgive me for the theatrics. I didn't have much choice. I'm sure you've noticed by now. My name is A. Sekigahara. I'm you. If everything went according to plan, then I'm talking to myself, but with no memories. We don't have much time, so I'm only telling you what you need to know. This is not your world. You're a human from another dimension. This place you're in right now, your stay here was intended to be temporary. But there was an accident. A very grave one. And now many people are unable to return home. I... Well, you are stuck here as well. <sighs> but don't give up yet. There's still a way back. Unfortunately, I can't tell you here. You understand now, don't you? If they see this recording, they'll know. So I've hidden the information you need elsewhere. Its location is known only to me. You must find it. Don't get caught. If you do, there'll be no escape. You have to trust me. I only hope you make the right choice. How am 
am I supposed to believe all that? Still, it does line up with what those men in black were saying. First things first, I need to get out of here. If what that girl said is true, then I'm not safe here. Hmm. I wonder if that's the same BJ robot that Natsuno found, or if that's a different thing. I assume it's probably the same one. And the whole situation with them talking to themselves kind of reminds me of Total Recall. So I wonder if it if it is like Total Recall, we don't want to trust ourselves. But I, I don't I don't think I don't think the game's gonna get that com well. The game's very convoluted in a sense, but not it's not so convoluted that I don't understand what's going on. You know, kind of like Kingdom Hearts. But that's un that game's unnecessarily convoluted. This one is trying to be sci-fi, so it's which I guess could also be unnecessarily convoluted. But anyway, the man who's from another dimension has a has a problem a few problems of his own, mainly memory loss. How will that deal with the story? Who will we who will we play as next in the the final little uh, chapter in the tutorial section of the game? Find out next time in the next episode of Thirteen Sentinels Aegis Rim. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.